Anger blurs the vision, poisons the blood, is the root of many diseases and causes wrong decisions leading to failure. Anger. There is a whole bunch of scriptures in the Bible, which I'll probably do another meditation on that, on scriptures just around anger that will help you to release anger and substitute it with peace. Hello. Well, my friend, I'm lonely too. Oh, I want to be there in that city on the bay. Oh, 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 when the lights go down in the city. All right. Hello. And thank you for joining me on I Am Maggie. And we are doing these beautiful works of Florence Scovel Shin, the complete works of Florence Scovel Shin. And we are picking up where we left off. We are in perfect expression or divine design. And we're gonna pick up where we left off. Are you ready? Okay. He is under direct inspiration, fearless and confident, for he feels that it is the Father within him who does the work. This is where we left off. Okay, so a man must be careful that he is not the wicked and slothful servant, lazy, whatever, who buried his talent. No bearing your talent. This is a terrible penalty to be paid for not using one's ability. That's right. We are here to give our acts, our visions, our service, our gifts, our acts of service to others, our purposes. Let's do this. So there is a terrible penalty to be paid for not using one's ability. And that is not going to help into anybody here on this channel. So often fear stands between man and his perfect self-expression. Fear, false evidence appearing as real. Stage fright has hampered many a genius. Kept me on the sidelines a long time. This may be overcome by the spoken word or a treatment. The individual then loses all self-consciousness and feels simply that he or she is the channel we for the infinite intelligence to express itself thoroughly. He is under direct inspiration, fearless and confident, or she, for he or she feels that it is in the Father within him who does the work, or her. Story. A young boy came off into my class with his mother and asked me to speak the word for his coming examinations at school. I told him to make the statement. I am one with the infinite intelligence. I know everything I should know on this subject. I'm gonna read it again for somebody out there who might be needing this affirmation. I am one with the infinite intelligence. I know everything I need, I should know on this subject. He had an excellent knowledge of history but was not sure of his arithmetic. I saw him afterwards and he said, I spoke the word for my arithmetic and passed with the highest honors, but thought I could depend on myself for history and got a very poor mark. Man often receives a setback when he is too sure of himself or herself, which means he is trusting to his personality and not the father within. Another one of my students gave me an example of this story. She took an extended trip abroad one summer visiting many countries where she was ignorant of the languages. She was calling for guidance and protection every minute and her affairs went smoothly and miraculously. Her luggage was never delayed or lost. Accommodations were always ready for her at the best hotels 
and she had perfect service wherever she went. She returned to New York. Oh, Lisa. Okay, God man. Hello. She returned to New York knowing the language she felt God was no longer necessary. So looked after her affairs in an ordinary manner. Are you catching it? Boom, boom, boom. What's about to happen? Everything went wrong. Her trunks delayed in harmony and confusion. The student must form the habit of practicing the presence of God. Ooh, practicing the presence of God every minute. In all thy ways, acknowledge him. Nothing is too small or too great. Ooh, beautiful. Okay, so she trusted in God in all these foreign places. Everything was perfect. Then got back onto American soil, New York City. And then all went haywire because she thought she knew the language and she came off the reliance of our creator. And then all shit broke loose. So we want to practice the presence of God always. In all thy ways, acknowledge him. So again, Shout out to Lisa Lywolf and OK Godman holding down the light of New York City and love. OK, and Sharon, too. So sometimes an insignificant incident may be the turning point in a man's life or a woman's life. Yes, yes, very true. Something with my circle, insignificant incident is turning out to be something. Robert Fulton watched some boiling water simmering in a teapot and saw a steamboat. I have seen a student often keep back his demonstration through resistance of pointing or pointing the way out. Okay, so Robert Fulton watching some boiling water simmering in a tea kettle, simmer, 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 and saw a steamboat. I have seen a student often keep back his demonstration to resistance of pointing the way. He pins his faith, and you're stuck. He pins his faith to one channel only. Do not do that. And dictates just the way he desires the manifestation to come, which brings things to a standstill. Are you getting this? If you are going to manifest something and you will only give it one way when you can skin a cat 300 million ways, don't choose the one way because you're going to block your manifestation. Allow all the forces to work with you. So don't want to be pinning your faith to one channel only. My way, not your way, is the command of the infinite intelligence. Ooh, hoo, hoo. like all power, be it steam or electricity, it must have a non-resistant engine or an instrument to work through. And man is that engine or instrument. Are you hearing this? So infinite intelligence has to funnel its power through us. So we need to be open to the 300 and million and infinite ways that our good can come to us. So over and over again, man is told to stand still. Oh, Judah, fear not, but tomorrow go out against them for the Lord will be with you. You shall not need to fight this battle. Set yourselves Stand ye still and see the salvation of the Lord with you. Boom. Wow. We see this in the incidents of the $2,000. Remember her story? The $2,000 coming to the woman through the landlord when she became non-resistant and undisturbed. And the woman who won the man's love after all suffering had ceased. So I also heard a story recently of somebody who went somewhere and was riding an electric bike. I loved it. So then she got home and she thought, I'm gonna ride me an electric bike and I'm gonna enjoy it. But when she got home, she was perplexed because she saw, holy shit, 
the books, the bike is $2,000. And she's like, I ain't got no $2,000, but she put the call out into the universe. And so she went on a flight, she was on her way back home and at the airport, they said, hello, will anybody change their flight? We will give you $500. Nobody moved. They said, okay, if you'll change your flight, we'll give you $1,000. Nobody moved. Then they said, okay, if you switch flights, we'll give you $1,500. And it's in that moment she became aware, wait a minute, the universe is bringing me $2,000. Well, as you guessed it, the next offer was for $2,000. She got the $2,000, switched her flight, and got her bike. So there's so many incredible ways the universe is trying to deliver you your dreams and goals. So move with it. So we see this in the incidents of the $2,000 coming to the woman who the landlord, when she became non-resistant and undisturbed, and the woman who won the man's love after suffering had ceased in the suffering. The student goal is poise. Poise is power, for it gives God's power a chance to rush through man and to will and to do its good pleasure, right? So that's why we're always taught to go in the stillness because when we're in that place, that's when we can start to feel the power of God rolling through us. And then as we are able to navigate the stillness, it comes to this animated form, which is beautiful. So poised, he thinks clearly and makes right decision quickly and he never misses a trick. Florence loves to say that, don't let infinite spirit, don't let me miss a trick. So anger blurs the vision, poisons the blood, is the root of many diseases and causes wrong decisions leading to failure anger. There is a whole bunch of scriptures in the Bible, which I'll probably do another meditation on that, on scriptures just around anger that will help you to release anger and substitute it with peace. So it has been named one of the worst sins as its reaction is so harmful. The student learns that in metaphysics, sin has a much broader meaning than in the old teaching. Whatsoever is not of faith is sin. Or when you break it down, sin means to miss the mark. So if you are not in alignment with light, love, laughter from here to ever after God's principles, you are missing the mark. And you will know when you're missing the mark because it begins to lead you into paths that are not for your best. And you also kind of feel it like, ooh, yuck. So he finds that fear and worry are deadly sins. They are inverted faith. So we call, talked about that in another one of our books. Fear is inverted faith. So fear and worry are deadly sins. They are inverted faith. And through distorted mental pictures, bring to pass the thing he or she fears. His work is to drive out these enemies from the subconscious mind. When man is fearless, he is finished. Master Link says that man is God afraid. And the other thing it says, one of the first wisdoms is to have fear, the fear of God. And it's not to fear God so that you're in this paralyzing state, but to know the awe that God is and that you are at the mercy of this energy, this force, this infinite spirit. It, there's an awe that comes with that. Nobody tells somebody to pull the curtain up to rise the sun, and nobody tells somebody to bring up the moon. All these things we take for granted, but all these things are God in motion, the infinite laws that he set into place that we take for granted each day. And our God, our creator, has got our back, has got our mind and heart aligned. And when we are synchronizing with this and we are being pure of heart and doing our best, the world has nothing but wonderful things to serve you. And even when you're being dished back shit, you will start to realize, okay, there's something for me to grow and learn in this. There's something for me to strengthen myself in and I will be it. I will do it and I will have it. 
praise God. So, so as we read in the previous chapters, man can only vanquish fear by walking up to the thing that he is afraid of. Ah! Okay, fear, false evidence appearing real. So if we want to conquer fear, we have to walk up to the YouTube channel or whatever it is. When Jehoshaphat and his army prepared to meet the enemy singing, Praise the Lord for his mercy endures forever. They found their enemies had destroyed each other and there was nothing to fight. Are you listening to this? When Jehoshaphat and his army prepared to meet the enemy singing, Praise the Lord for his mercy endureth forever. They found their enemies had destroyed each other and there was nothing to fight. So for example, story, one more story for tonight. For example, a woman asked a friend to deliver a message to another friend. The woman feared to give the message as the reasoning mind, okay, blah, 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 that mind, that monkey mind, don't get mixed up in this affair. Don't give that message. She was troubled in spirit, for she had given her promise. At last, she determined to walk up to the lion and call on the law of divine protection. Okay, we got the law of divine protection now. We got all law of expectancy, law of forgiveness, law of karma. Now we're law of divine protection. She met the friend to whom she was to deliver the message. Ah! She opened her mouth to speak it. And when her friend said, so and so had left town, this made it unnecessary to give the message as the situation depended upon the person being in town. So as she was willing to do it, she was not obliged to. And as she did not fear the situation, vanished. The student often delays his demonstration through a belief in incompletion. He should make this statement or she. Okay, here we go. In the divine mind, there is only one completion. Therefore, my demonstration is completed. My perfect work my perfect home, my perfect health. Whatsoever he demands as perfect ideas registered in the divine mind and must manifest under grace and in perfect ways. He or she gives thanks that he or she has always received on the invisible and makes active preparation for receiving the visual. Okay, we're gonna do that one more time. In divine mind, there is only one completion. Therefore, my demonstration is completed. My perfect work, my perfect home, my perfect health. Whatever he demands are perfect ideas registered in the divine mind and must be manifest under grace and in a perfect way. He or she gives thanks that she already received on the invisible and makes active preparation for receiving on the visual. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to stop there for tonight. But I want you to all think about what it is on the invisible that you are working to manifest on the visible. And any other positive things that you want to add about divine protection and elsewise. And I want to thank you so much for joining me in these complete works of Florence Goble Shin. I am so grateful to you. Follow me, subscribe, leave your positive comments, like that helps us get out on the algorithm. And I am so, so, so thankful for you and thank you. All right, I'm gonna see you later. We're like Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday. So that's when you can see us usually. All right, and I wanna thank Benzie Darling with Brand My Tube, the Brand My Tube team for all your support as I continue to grow in this wonderful thing called life. All right, may you all be at peace.